It's been four days of hell and four days of peace. I come in here to do all of my thinking, but it only really helps to drown my sorrows. I haven't exactly begun the thinking process yet, but I'll let you know when I do. I know it all sounds very pitiful and worries me, but I'm here because I need to know why I don't feel whole anymore. Two to one now. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't encourage competition, really, should I? Yeah. Children, do you mind leaving the room for a minute? Please? I was just about to beat Nathan. I need to have a word with you, Dad. Bye, kids. See you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Not that I mean for that meeting to be this formal. Well, calling it a meeting is rather, isn't it? There are lots of things we need to discuss, like childminding. What's there to discuss? I'm here, aren't I? How is this going to work with you living in London? I'm working night shifts all next week. Well, then I'll become a night owl, won't I? I'll stop taking the piss. Not in front of the children, Ashley. They're not here, are they? No, but they're outside. No, don't worry about it, huh? It's all in hand. We need to discuss money matters as well. Yeah, all right, Ashley. Yeah, as I said, I'll be coming. Let me that work. Hi. Hi. Here you go. Right, listen, I'll be seeing you in a couple of days, OK? OK. All right, till then, be good. OK. Bye. We love you, you pissed head. <laughs> oh. I wanted to laugh, I found it quite hysterical, but something deep down me was really repulsed by it. I mean, I know kids only pick up what they hear from adults, but it really repulsed me. Is that how they perceive me? A piss head. Come, come in. If, if you want to. Yeah, okay. Shall I go through? Um, uh, am I too loud? No, no, on the contrary. I mean, in the beginning, yeah. But now, I kind of like it. It's been helping me to think a lot. Think? Yeah, I've got a lot of thinking to do. Not sure whether Doris next door will be able to think through it, though. <laughs> She's stiff. Oh, is she? Oh, well, problem resolved. Um, I, I would offer you something to drink, but I don't have any alcohol. Well, no, it's OK. Water would do. What made you think I'd want alcohol? I see you come out of the pub. I, I've not been following you. Oh, no, well, that will explain it then. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Carl. I'm Paul, pleased to meet you. Where are you from? The Netherlands. Really? It's a non specific accent you've got there. Non specific? Hmm. Would you mind me to play the piano while you think about your next question? All oh, right, well, I was only trying to be neighbourly. Maybe I should go now. No, no, you don't have to. Um, I, I could play a piece I was working on. Um, and maybe then you can think. Yeah, OK, yeah, that'd be good. You, maybe you want to sit down? Um, sure. Do you live with anyone? Just my little dog. Would you, would you like some tea? No, no, it's fine. I've really got to get back. I've been working from home recently and you have to discipline yourself, otherwise you find yourself wandering into strangers' flats to get your entertainment. W will you be going to the pub later? 
I think I may give it a miss today, actually. Do you have any friends in London? No, not too many. Well, look, maybe I can come over. Maybe I can come over tomorrow and listen to you play again. Uh, it really does help me to think. <laughs> this is where a music interlude would have been appropriate. Well, look, if you don't have anything to say, then I wouldn't bother. Um, I'm gonna get going now, then. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. I'm not going to order my drink straight away. I mean, maybe it's just this environment I need, not the drink. I was supposed to be going to the Dutch man's this afternoon to hear him tinkle, but I'm not sure what to make of him. I mean, I really enjoyed listening to him playing piano, but I'm not sure if I can withstand the awkwardness, to tell you the truth. You can sell me to sing for middag. You can't sleep in the zone of Ik droom er van dat hij naast mij lag. Luister naar muziek. Dat we elkaar aanraken. Elkaar nodig hadden. I'm sure whatever you were saying in Dutch sounded great, but my Dutch leaves a lot to be desired. So here I am, sat here again, trying to work out where it all went wrong with Ashley. I've been suppressing my feelings. I'm blocking it out with booze so I can't think cognitively. And I know what these feelings are because they've been here before. I'm glad you came. I thought you were going to be in the pub the whole day. OK, now you're beginning to sound like my wife. But I'm not. I'm just a friend. I went to see my family the other day. Ashley seems to be taking it quite well, actually. I think she was kind of expecting this. She knew I needed the space to think. In Holland, we are quite tactile. We are not scared to show passion between people, not even between men. <laughs> it's a bit hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's autumn. If it's any consolation, I've known for a while. Yeah, I knew you did. You'll be fine. And you? You've been a bit contemplative today. Yeah. I have a big decision to make. I'll tell you about it some other time. Bye. Bye. I tried this many, many years ago, but I couldn't go through with it. And then I got married and had the kids just to obliterate any unwanted feelings that might pop up. And lo and behold, they did again. And now I'll probably fuck their lives up. But they love you, don't they? They will understand when they are bigger. They just want you in their life. That's all a child wants. Believe me. <laughs> you could laugh now. <laughs> when kiss by this for a bite. Thank you.